I'm geeking out just a little bit. This device right here is another way of grinding grain. Now, in the past, we've talked a little bit about windmills, we've talked a little bit about uh, quarry stones, all these rotary devices. This one uses a reciprocating action. In other words, you're going back and forth to grind. And, you know, it has some disadvantages. It's kind of difficult to collect the stuff if you're grinding here, it falls off really easily. That's not really good if you have a bowl that solves some of it, but you have to do it in batches. Like you put some in and then eventually you have to take it back out and so you can't operate continuously. A circular device has a lot of advantages that way. One interesting thing that I find fascinating is that in the Americas, the circular type of cornstone was never developed. Circular millstones just never happened. This is the technology that remained. But there's actually good reasons for that. One of the things that is really difficult about grinding corn for masa, for making tortillas, is that it's ground while wet. Now doing that in a circular grindstone is a pain. I can't do it in any of the mills that I use except for one of them that can work with wet ingredients. But uh, I have to use actually a sausage grinder and then dry the flour separately and then grind it with a circular mill. But with one of these mills, grinding the wet stuff, it stays together as a paste so it doesn't fall off. You do it in one batch because it has to be done fresh every time for the meal. So this technology, which is super ancient and in some sense way worse for dry ingredients, for the wet ingredients in the Americas for grinding uh, corn and hominy into uh, tortilla dough, it's actually the better technology. And that might be the reason why they never developed the circular mills. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe below and tell me if you've had challenges grinding your corn into masa. Thank you very much.